Hello, I'm Richard Phobes, the bald explorer out on another walk and I'm hoping <laughs> that I'm not going to get too muddy on this one. I'm here at Newbridge on the Old Way and Arran Canal and I'm down by the river. Oh, excuse me, I have to just go underneath a very little uh, low branch to get the view of the, of the bridge and I'm taking a little stroll along the muddy track, the old towpath I suppose it would have been. Um, it is muddy and it may be impassable in places. We've had a very a bit of rainy season recently, then we've had some frost and it's thawing out now and I'm hoping it's going to be okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm taking a little walk. You've got, uh, I don't know if that's the Arran there or a tributary to the Arran, I think it is, it goes down into the Arran, but at one point this was the navigation, the old Way and Arran Canal would run down along there. Let's look at an old map circa 1880. In the centre you'll see the old canal on the left and the river Arran on the right. Newbridge crosses both, now the A272. In red is the footpath that I'm walking on. You'll see when I get over this stile that I've got the river now on my left and the canal, what's left of it, on my right, although you can't actually see it because it's hidden behind a hedge. We can see the cars whizzing along the busy A272 heading between Petworth and Billingshurst. You may wonder that if the river is already there, why build an adjacent navigation? And that's a very good question. But if we take a look at the old map again, you'll see that the river meanders all over the place, tending to follow the path of least resistance. Barges, travelling on the water, are naturally slow, and so, where possible, desire to travel in straight lines, ensuring their journey is as short and as quick as possible. It is a beautiful sunny day and I'm on the footpath that you can now go on and I want to try and catch a little bit of the river to give some indication of what it looks like. It's just there behind me. So this is a bit of a country walk um, and an unknown sort of mystery walk in, in some ways. The, uh, the canal of course is now disbanded and it, uh, I think it utilises some of the river and some of uh, the cuttings that were done behind me, or in front of me rather, to the side. A beautiful house behind this hedge. I don't know if you can see that very well, and it looks like it's some sort of canalman's cottage. I believe this, uh, this takes me, if I carry on walking down here, it will take me eventually um, to a lock and I've just temporarily forgotten the name of the lock. I'll try and find out and bung it on the screen so to speak. But this beautiful meadow here, grass meadow or grazing field, there's nothing grazing in it at the moment and uh, ahead of me we've got this very picturesque landscape, open vista the ground is thawing out, the trees uh, here in February as I'm filming are getting ready to burst into blossom and I'm just following my nose because I'm not really sure where the footpath is so I'm hoping that this is it, getting up onto a bit of um, higher ground. Hmm, I seem to be blighted because I still can't see the course of the old canal thanks to that hedge. Looking at the Way and Arran Canal Trust's website, that's the group who are putting the canal back into water and who've already opened quite a stretch of it, I learn that the Way and Arran Canal opened to great fanfare in 1816, linking up with the Way Navigation and the Arran Navigation and, in effect, providing an inland waterborne route from London southwards to the sea. The route was conceived during the Napoleonic Wars, 
and was intended to provide safe and efficient means of taking cargo from London to Portsmouth, and of course, vice versa. I've walked some of the restored routes in my other videos, and you might like to check them out. And I'll do some more canal walking later in the year. After the war with France and the arrival of the railways, canals were quickly on the decline and considered just too slow. Ah, up ahead, I do believe I can catch a glimpse of the old canal. Oh yes, here we go. So this is coming through a field, and perhaps we'll get a a look back at the canal. I don't. I think I'm supposed to come. Oh gosh, I've just put my foot in a very deep, soggy bit. Hang on, let's come around here. Just see if we can see it. So there we go, look. This is all obviously belonging to that house in the distance there. So it looks like it's frozen up as well, but that is part of the canal. How amazing. Fascinating. Right, okay. It would have continued this way. I've just got to get back over this incredibly muddy section uh, and I'm guessing that's because farm trucks come through here and I just want to go and have a look down there in a in a 10 minute video it's very tricky sometimes to do the distance sometimes it's fine if I'm editing it all up other times I'm doing it as if it was happening live you know it's like we switch the camera on and away we go and that's very much what's happening this time round. Just to give a, a sense of what the British countryside is like and the sort of things that you can expect to do or find. Um, you do get videos which are all nicely edited and show you the highlights, but you don't sort of get the actual exploring bit, which is what I'm all about. So, ah, here we go. We've come up to a new public footpath it says keep to the route of the please keep to the route of the public right of way okay so we've got a crossroad there's a bridge there up that way to my left or we can just carry on um, let's just carry on a little bit this way because for one thing we're not going to be pointing into the sun and I can't see what's beyond here except I can sense that there's another little sign and this is a great thing about the country, uh, these country <laughs> walks. Sometimes you never quite know where you're going to go. In fact, there's somebody, I can see somebody in the distance walking this very route. Um, I'm going to come across this bridge, this very strange looking bridge, very muddy. The man, I think he's walking his dog. And ooh, over we go. And let's have a little glance, little street, and it's it's incredibly muddy. I don't know how far I can, can get into the field, all right. I'll just avoid all of that bog. But of course, the longer I leave it, the more it's going to uh, become a quagmire as it thaws out. Morning bit muddy isn't it? Should have come earlier when it was all frozen. Yeah, yeah the sun's very powerful. People always, um, they, they always wonder what the hell I'm up to when they, they see the camera and uh, maybe they get a bit conspicuous and think hello what's, what's he doing? Is he surveying or something because it's an unusual setup that I've got here. Anyway, um, I've sort of run out of time, as ever, um, but get out into the country, go exploring, see what's there and have fun. I've been the Bald Explorer, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you on the next one, bye for now.